Uh, hello everyone. Uh, after a little break, now we're going into part two of our race. Well, we just made our first round of pit stop. We might have to make another round of pit route. Another round of pit stop because the rain is coming here at the Silverstone Circuit. Uh, as we come out of the pits, uh, let's hope we don't do like we did last season in the Formula One 2018 game. That we don't uh, sp spin out in that corner. Because everyone has had a lot of problems going into that corner. We have now 28 laps to go into the race. We might be going into three parts of this British Grand Prix when the rain uh, approaches. Man, these medium tires are handling pretty well. Well, we may not be very long on these medium tires because the rain is coming through. And I have a 10.8 second lead still on Hamilton. Hamilton and I did pit on the same lap and so did everybody else too. And it looks like Vettel uh, has a pretty much of a big gap advantage uh, over his teammate Leclerc. Well, here's the rain. I think we better hurry up because this will be the last time we'll get our fastest time of the race. Yeah, we're still fast right now, but I think this will be the last time where we're going to be fast on this track. Because the, the track is going to get wetter and wetter, uh, wetter, and wetter each lap uh, that, we, uh, that we progress with these tires. And then we're going to put the uh, intermediates and then possibly the full wets. We do get a fast lap of minute 37.269. Yeah, it looks like the seat of the crowd over there they must get their famous uh, London umbrellas on.
Well, we're running a pretty smooth tenth of a race. We're still in the right tires, but then uh, sooner or later, I think maybe about three or four laps, we could be changing these tires into intermediates. Track is getting wetter out there. It's going to get a little crazy out there if we don't get these uh, medium tires off to go into the uh, get into the enters of the full wets because heavy rain will be coming uh, maybe in the next 35 or 40 laps. Well, we're coming into some lap traffic over there. I think that's uh, two of the Toro Rosso's and two of the Williams cars uh, coming up up ahead. They're the slowest cars on the track. In 10 minutes, we're going to see heavy rain on the track. We're already after 30 of 52 laps, so we got 22 laps to go. So when the heavy rain comes, I think it will be within 15 to 14 laps to go. Because the track is getting wetter out there, and I'm, and I'm creasing a gap pretty well on Lewis Hamilton. And I think he's having all sorts of trouble with his medium tires in the wets.
so we're going to go to intermediates for now. So now we have to go down to 58 for our break bias. Because now we're on rainy conditions and the uh, DRS is going to be disabled for the rest of the race. in anyway because we don't want to be slipping and sliding all over the racetrack. Yeah, here we go. Enters in. We got 20 laps to go in this race. And this is going to be a rainy 20 laps to go. And after that pit stop, we're now 21 seconds ahead of Hamilton. But Hamilton uh, is going to have to keep his toes uh, the pace ahead over Vettel because Vettel was 5.2 seconds of behind Hamilton per second.
And Lance Stroll is doing much better in his second start with Williams, currently running in the 15th spot. put a lap on Lance Stroll. Now, this is the only turn that we need to take it easy on there, uh, on, the, on the hard left and the hard right S's uh, with these rainy conditions. It always loves to rain here at the, in Great Britain. And in five minutes we're going to have heavy rain conditions coming into the track, so I, hopefully we might be going into full wets. Uh, within maybe about 35 or 40 laps to go. But, well, excuse me, 35 or 40 laps into the race. And you see I go by Grosjean, put him a lap down. Had a little bit of a moment at the start of this race uh, in part one of the uh, Rolex British Grand Prix when I was uh, fighting out with Hamilton for the lead and then also the two Ferraris were right behind me. I started fourth in the race and those are the only two flashbacks I did because I broke wings and made contact with Vettel and Hamilton only one time. Uh, and then I had a few moments spin outs over there and then ever since then when I passed Hamilton uh, I took off uh, and then I was close sailing that. I had a 15 second lead but now with the rainy conditions I'm taking advantage over Hamilton over 22 seconds ahead. I gotta take a look at my power unit. Man, I got 68% of the gearbox. But remember, this is the last race for that uh, that gearbox component. And then it will be uh, uh, retired after this race. Because the next race I will have a fresh new gearbox. Uh, and also the, the engine component is going to be changed as well. So I'm going to be making a, a lot of changes uh, for the next race in Germany. I think we're still on the right tires for the time being. Okay, you see Hulkenberg lets me by and puts, I put him a lap down. 23 second advantage over uh, Hamilton. Stop looking at everywhere over there. Uh, almost had a little bit of a moment there.
Well, we're still on the right intermediate tires, but we haven't gone into full wets yet. But sooner or later, these enters are, uh, are going to be uh, useless. Race car is so wet right now. Oh, we got a safety car on the track. Safety car. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Lewis Hamilton and his home soil track in the British Grand Prix is out of the race. I cannot believe it. What happened to Lewis Hamilton? Did he crash? So Lewis Hamilton, the pole setter to, for this Rolex British Grand Prix, has dropped out of the race. Wow. I could not imagine Lewis Hamilton the dropping out of the race. And what a, a disastrous, dismal day for the AMG Mercedes. On lap 15 in the race, Valtteri Bottas' his teammate was out of the race, and now Lewis Hamilton. But what has happened to Lewis Hamilton's car? And you see that safety car right there on the dot is uh, waiting for me to get around the uh, Rolex British uh, circuit, the Silverstone circuit. Um, I'm just trying to maintain a, uh, a certain delta over there. I'm just keeping an eye on the right on that delta to, to keep it at green instead of red. So we have our first safety car period of the race, and and what a tough, tough day for the uh, AMG Mercedes. still keeping the intermediate tires. I, I just can't believe we're still running on them. Instead of uh, going for the, uh, ooh, a little bit of a moment there. Uh, still keeping the intermediates on, not even going to the full wets yet. The intermediates are starting to slip away a little bit. I'm still going to need to be careful out there. Vettel and Leclerc has not uh, stopped yet for, uh, for full wets. And now we're going right behind the safety car. And now I'm going to have two Ferraris coming right behind me for second and third. But but the lap cars could be helping. I think I got the rental of uh, Nico Hulkenberg. But the field is going to be bunched up anyway. Yeah, there you see the retirement of uh, Lewis Hamilton. I've already saw him go by, so it indeed was a blown uh, motor. It looks like he blew the gearbox and used it up again. Remember, I still have 69% of the, the gearbox.
Um, here's Hagel Hogerberg coming into the pits. And Bella and Clark, uh, they came in, but they put intermediates on. Do not pass it. You are the leader. Or the safety car. Well, we haven't got a strategy option yet to uh, whether are we going to put the full wets in or not. And we got 12 laps to go in this race. Metal came in to put the intermediates on. Remember, we already used these intermediates during qualifying. I think it's probably about time to put the wets on. Because with this heavy rain and everything, it's uh, I think it's probably a good idea to go, in, go into the pits and then put the wets on. Yeah, let's, let's go in for the wets. Yeah, everybody's coming. Yeah, everybody's coming. Come in and to take the wets on. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, but everyone else is coming in as well too. the lead over Vettel because, uh, you know, we lost the lead over Vettel because we uh, got caught into the pits. Well, at least we got the wets on. We, we lost the lead and we have 12 laps to go. And we dropped into second place because uh, there was too many people in the pits. Well, we're staying behind Hulkenberg right now in this safety car period. Oh, man, this rain is just absolutely bringing cats and dogs out there. Ow! Oh, 
Well, the second car is coming into the pits. Let's see if we can try to get uh, the lead back from Sebastian Vettel. It is raining cats and dogs out there. And, and Hulkenberg does let me go. Man, it's hard to see here in the rain. Well, I gotta have to be really careful if I want to pass pedal for the lead. It is raining cats and dogs out there. Here comes the pass. Make a little bit of contact and I do take the lead away from Sebastian Vettel. I am now back in the lead. Well, we had a little bit of a pushing and shoving over there. A little bit of a moment, but we didn't spin out, and now we're back in the lead within 10 laps to go. Now in the last 10 laps of the race, now I have to be careful and be safe out there because it is absolutely torrentially raining out there. It's like a monsoon out there. Look at that. See if I could try to hold out those two Ferraris over there. They're still running second and third. So we have another safety car period. It is just too dangerous out there to ride in this rain. Uh, I think the safety car came out because I think it was the right thing to do. It is just absolutely pouring out there. I think there may be a car that may be spun out running in the circuit because Vettel and Leclerc are still running in second and third place.
Hmm. You know, when it rains in the in the, in Great Britain, it rains. There's no showing or stopping or anything. Whether it rains, snows, uh, it could snow like crazy too. It, it's just absolutely heavy rain out there. Uh, I think it's a good thing the safety car came out eh? because it's absolutely it's so dangerous out there. So this is our second safety car period of the day. Because we saw Alexander Avon uh, spun out. He didn't drop out of the race. That's not the situation here. The track is not drying out. It is still the torrentially raining out there. Huh. If you think the Monaco race was raining bad, huh. Huh. the British Grand Prix is raining twice as bad here. Um, we got about eight laps away from finishing this Rolex British Grand Prix. This pretty much going to be like a six lap shootout to the finish. Um, let's see if we can start to try to stay in, out of trouble out there. It is raining like crazy out there. It is just uh, bad weather conditions. Uh, a lot of standing water out there on the uh, on the surface. Huh. Like I said, it's raining cats and dogs out there here in the Silverstone Circuit. Now it will be seven laps to go in the race. It's me leading, second is uh, the two Ferraris, uh, second and third, Vettel and Leclerc.
safety car in this lap. You will be controlling the pace on the restart. Keep it steady until the safety car has reached the pit lane. And now the safety car will be coming in on this lap, so that means we'll be after 46 of 52 laps. Just try to stay out of trouble out there. Here comes the safety car coming in. With six laps to go, and boy, look at the vantage we got on that restart. That was a beautiful restart for us. Beautiful restart for me, and look at the advantage I got from Vettel. Well, we're 1.6 seconds ahead of battle. Let's try to stay out of trouble out there, and especially around uh, this uh, hard left apex turn. Let's try to uh, slow it down, try to take it easy out there. We got five laps to go in the race. 